This video is about my latest findings regarding new yet artifacts and weapon builds. I already talked about him in a video that is currently down, but I'm working on getting that up again. Still, that won't stop me from providing updated theory crafting findings to you all for the time being. This is an activity that requires quite the effort from me, so if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up. Also, I recently opened a Patreon where I will make more updates regarding beta theory crafting. It's completely free, but if you want, you can support me there by subscribing. Let's move on then. Nuviet is a quite peculiar character, and as such, builds can also be peculiar. Let me refresh your mind on some of his main characteristics. He's by far the highest HP scaling unit we've ever had in the game, which makes HP buffs and stats very advantageous. He might prefer to be used on long rotations, both because of his low animations and for team-wide reasons, so his energy requirements won't be that high. Lastly, as of now it seems his best teams won't include a second Hydro, because that wouldn't allow him to fully activate his passive, which has a much higher impact than the Hydro Resonance effect. Having said this, let's see his weapon rankings. Of course his signature is his best option. I won't go in detail about it since I want to avoid as many risks as possible here, but it's a very good stat stick that also provides energy benefits, basically nullifying his energy recharge requirements as a result. Lower, we can find the new Battle Pass weapon, which is another massive stat stick. The issue compared to his signature though is that it has restrictions in terms of duration and doesn't provide the same energy related benefits. Specifically, since New Yet will take 12 seconds to use 3 charge attack in a row, that will almost entirely disable Jade's HP buff for the last charge attack, and in general any sort of window of extension will put the effectiveness of the buff in jeopardy. The other 5 star options are at a huge disadvantage here, because New Yet just doesn't care about high base attack stats. This means they have to compete with other options through their secondary stats and passive alone. And since many 5 stars tend to cater to the specific character they're designed for, weapons like Kagura just don't translate well for New Yet. This makes good and flexible 4 star options such as Prototype Amber much more competitive, and as a whole technically good choices. However, it's good to remember that New Yet is a hyper carry of the highest degree, meaning that a 20% damage loss for him has very noticeable repercussions for the whole team. Honestly, I would say he's one of the most signature dependent characters we've ever had in the game, as it's the only truly consistent option for him. In general, if you want to invest to make your new yet stronger, his signature will be the most primogems efficient investment you could make. Still, things could change in favor of other weapons if rotation assumptions change, since 30 second rotations favor his signature in particular, as they allow it to get two energy refund procs. Jumping to the artifacts analysis now, set-wise the Marashu C set is the best for him. He will lose HP 3 times in 1.5 seconds after using his first charge attack, so he can get enough uptime for hit to make it the best in slot by a decent margin overall. However, other options are not drastically below, and specifically the combination of 2 HP set bonuses performs weirdly well. Heart of Depth is another pretty good option for a full set, since the main part of its buffs will positively affect new yet charge attack in particular. Meanwhile, the combination of 2 hydro damage bonus effects places dead last, considerably lower than the HP bonus sets. The reason is that compared to other artifact set bonuses, HP sets give higher buffs relative to the artifact main stats on pieces. As a result, there is this weird conundrum where the damage buff goblet is better than HP% percent goblet main stat wise, but the combination of damage buff set bonuses is lower than the combination of HP buff set bonuses. In general, for artifact main stat choices, a traditional HP, damage buff and crit combination for sands, goblet and circlet respectively will do, but HP% percent is competitive enough on all fronts that resorting to HP main stats all around could even be an option if your substats are good enough. One of the reasons HP scales so well is that there are no HP buffers around, so it's not a scenario like Bennett teams, where attack buffs can get so redundant in some cases that attack isn't even the best option for sands on the main carry. 
Additionally, in terms of energy recharge, this is highly variable, since it's something that could drastically change depending on how its rotation length shapes up to be, but as of right now, in 30 seconds rotations, its requirements are obviously quite low even for solo hydro teams, and it gets a lot of particles from allies and Favonius procs, so it can run on low energy recharge even with its 70 cost burst taken into account. To give a better context, a 30 second rotation is almost like using the burst every other rotation for New Yet. As a whole, while New Yet offers a lot of flexibility for artifacts builds, his weapon choices aren't quite as flexible, since many options on him are pretty bad and his signature is the only truly consistent pick for his damage. It sort of reminds me of Huta when she first came out. I'm done for today. Next video is about Brizzly's builds, so stay tuned for that.